Hello. Hello. This is Amy and my precious and mom. This is mom. Cute Judy Lee. We're back again. I know we were here a lot during the holidays, you know, just yeah. to bring you cheers, laughter, and holiday fun. Um, yeah. We have decided to present you with a weekly Bible study that we've been doing. We've been doing a Bible study. Um, I took some much needed t time off yes. to take care of my mom full time through the week, which has been the biggest blessing in my life. Right, mom? Right. And, uh, she oh. is bedridden. She can no longer walk. I'm going to have her talk a little bit about that. Oh. Um, she's healthy otherwise. And, mm -hmm. but you know, I have to help her on her daily, Thanks. you know, going to the bathroom, you know, putting her in her wheelchair, bringing her back to the bed. I help. Do her wow. hair like this morning. I curl her hair, right, Mom? I give you, yeah. give her a bath, and just we have fun, you know. Yeah. And, and yeah, I even get to bring my dog Oreo, which my parents and my mom love Oreo, and Oreo yeah. just makes such a difference. So, before we start, I'm gonna have Mom mm -hmm. talk. But you notice how we have little daisies. Uh, my mom's mm -hmm. one of her favorite flowers is daisies, right, Mom? Yes. Daisies and sunflowers. So I decided to have our first Bible study episode. With, with, daisies. with daisies, and of course, I have a daisy crown on. Yeah, and this pretty daisy shirt I got from my mom. Of course, you all know I'm a thrift store fanatic, yes. so both her shirt and my shirt, and even my daisy headband are all thrift store, even my beautiful earrings, yeah, and they have little flowers on too. So, a thrift store that's a fun thrift tip for the day. You can find yes. anything in a thrift store, so. Um, yes. Besides that, um, I want to share some of the things that we do besides doing the Bible study and the communion, right, Mom? We do right. daily communion every day, and we read a lot. Every day. Every day. We've been doing... Read from the Bible. Yes. We've been doing arts and crafts, so I want to show you some of the stuff. We did a lot of Christmas time, which I put up, but mm -hmm. this is Mom's beautiful cross, and it happens to have daisies on it and mm -hmm. butterflies, so... Show them, Mom. Show your pretty cross. Yeah. Look at this pretty cross. I mean, I both made crosses, but we put daisies and butterflies on this because that has always been something very special to Amy and me. Yeah, let me put it up close. The Isn't this beautiful? We and brought, the butterfly. We brought the crosses wooden, and then Mom painted it, and we added this says, Have Faith, which is great because it goes perfect with our Bible study and perfect with our... Pretty outfits. Right. So I made one too, but mine's in my house hanging up. Another thing that we've made I is made paper too. mache butterflies, which are in my mom's room. You want to hold the yellow one? Yes. Yeah. Here my, is the butterfly. Paper mache. Oh, look, let's put the, the little yellow one. Up. And Amy has the pink so, one. So we do fun things like this. And, you know, what I've learned is like these things that yes, we, we take do. for granted as far as, you know, everybody's so embedded on the computer and in their phones yes. and that they just don't have time and these type of things like crafts and painting and bible studies we even do what's called yes. christian guided meditation every day really makes a difference and it gets you away from all the hustle and bustle of social media and the internet and the phones so just yes. wanted to share a little bit about that the name there's of our the there's the butterfly it's and my mom loves the color yellow so this is perfect for her um, the name of our show is called Inspirational Word and Fun with Cute Judy Lee and Amy. Um, That's what we decided to call. We wanted to add the word fun because we like to have fun. So yeah. But I'm gonna have Mom tell a little bit of her story about what she's been through with her illness and kind of where she is now and how she's feeling now. Okay, Mom, go ahead and share. Well, I've always been a fairly active person. And was able to go out and do, but my legs gradually have deteriorated and that they hurt very badly if I attempt to walk. So I have to have, be in the wheelchair to get to the bathroom and I can't try to walk by myself. I try, but she I will fell. fall. She fell really bad a couple times. I right? have fall, really bad. Fallen. So she got to the point where she didn't want to use the wheelchair, right? Right. And then when she kept falling, we're like, Mom, you have to use the wheelchair. 
Yeah. Another good thing is she had a regular queen size bed, and just recently Dad bought her. And my and husband was very kind to buy me this wonderful bed. Hospital bed. It's a hospital bed, and it goes down pretty low because I would have trouble getting in the bed. I fell. I fell. She Trying actually fell on top of me. I fell. I was trying me. to lift her up and put her on the the, the stand. She that was we trying to help me. Yeah, and we were like, I she fell directly on top of me. I couldn't move because if I would have moved, her hip could have broken. So I screamed, "Dad!" He had to come help both of us. We were yeah. down on the ground, and that was it. Dad went and got a hospital bed. So this bed is a a real godsend. godsend. And I was just thanking him again. Yesterday, for getting this bed. Yes. I deeply appreciate it. So, besides, I mean, her health otherwise mm -hmm. is really good, right? She's well, uh, as far as I know, I'm trying to do my best. She's doing good. I'm trying so. to do okay. But we're having fun, and you know, she's really. Uh, since mm -hmm. I've been here, and we're doing fun things, and we're focusing on the Lord, she's really. Gotten a lot better. We're doing fun a things lot and Christian things. Yes. So the topic for each our each day, each day. That's right, right. <laughs> and we laugh a lot, which hopefully we we'll get to laugh yeah. in this video too. Laughter heals. Yes, laughter is like medicine. It says in the Bible. So, uh, yes. Before we start, I wanted to let you know our topic for the day, which we've been, me and Mama, have been going over this: resting in the Lord. Yes. Um, Gosh, today there's so many people. The anxiety that people have mm. today is just the worst it's ever been, even among mm. teenage kids. Uh, anxiety, stress, mm. it's just all the stimulation of everything yes. around us. Constant looking at your phones, constant social media, and there's hundreds of social media sites. And just yes. everything, the hustle and bustle of everyday life on top of your regular life. Yes. It's just caused so many people to have stress and anxiety. So Jesus yes. says in his word that we can rest in him and we can meditate in him and spend yes. time with him. And that's what me and my mom have been doing. And that's kind of been one of the biggest blessings of taking care of my mom. I actually had the time with her to meditate and breathe and read the Bible. So yes. we're going to do, before we do the actual Bible study and give you the scriptures, we're going to do a little bit of breathing. Breathing is oh. so important. <laughs> Here she goes. She did a little breath. <laughs> Our camera bounced. That's what happened. <laughs> Scared us. Anyhow, uh, we have our camera sticking to this trash can to hold it up. And it flipped out, you know, moved a little bit. But anyhow, we're going to do a little it scared bit. scared me. Yeah, it, scared, it scared me too. Hopefully it won't come crashing now. <laughs> right, Mom? <Yeah. laughs> That would be crazy. But we're going to do a little bit of breathing. Uh, breathing is so important. With all the stress, anxiety, yes. people are breathing. They're actually physically holding their breath, and they don't even realize it's unconscious, right, yeah. Mom? Right. Because the stress, and they, they hold their breath. Right. So, this is called an oxytocin mm -hmm. breath. I actually learned this breath. Oxytocin. Oxytocin. When I was sang for an event called the Braveheart Women, mm -hmm. Ellie Drake was the head of it. And it's where you breathe through your nose, deep inside your belly, which your belly will come out, and then you're going to let out like a sigh, almost like a, oh, an oh. So we're going to, there she goes, mom's already showing you, there we go. So you got to do a breathe into your tummy, and you go, oh. And you just let the air just naturally Flow out and you just go down. We're going to do it two more times. Ready, Mom? Yeah. Ah, yeah. And Yay. smile. You, I've heard of you were in a smile breath. Smile. Even if you're feeling sad or depressed. Smile. And then you go smile. You want to do it again with a smile, Mom? So you're going to do a big smile. So 
That is that. I now, I have a song. Here comes Oreo. Oh, little Oreo. She wants to come up on the bed. Let me get her. So you can all see. Ah, here's Oreo. Hi. She's been a blessing. She's been a blessing. You are a blessing, Oreo. Okay. So, Oreo Ori wants to participate in our Bible study and fun video. So, anyhow, I have a song. Uh, I'm an inspirational oh, singer-songwriter. Here she comes. I'm an inspirational singer-songwriter. Many of you know that. Here she comes. Oh, Look she's her. licking Grandma's face. I Woo! love you, Oreo. <laughs> um, I'm an inspirational singer-songwriter, and I have a healing meditation mm. album called Breath of Angels, and I have a song called Rest in the Lord. We're going to sing. Before we begin the Bible study, we're going to sing just a couple lines just to kind of get everybody in the worship spirit and getting ready to, to do the Word of God and talk about Jesus. You ready, Mom? Are you going to do it? you got to come up. Are you going to be singing? Yes, and you're going to sing too. Okay, okay ready? Rest in the Lord. Let His peace fill your heart. Rest in the Only God's love, love can heal the heal deepest wounds. Heart. The deepest wounds, right, Mom? Yes. The deepest hurts that maybe nobody knows about. And his yes. his love and his rest. We're all searching, people are always searching for things in the world to yes. rest in, to find peace in. But you're never gonna find it like you find it in, in Jesus, Jesus, right? No. And his you're peace not. and rest is everything. So we're gonna begin you our Bible everything. study in just a minute. Rest in the Lord. Let His peace fill your heart. Rest in the Love. Yes, and we're going to begin our Bible and be study. With you. Right. I could not live a day without him because he's all that I have. Yes. When you go through troubled waters. Yeah, especially when mom, you know, dealing with not being able to walk and not having her yeah. own strength. She has to depend every day on the strength and grace and of Jesus. And I just want to be the best for my husband because... This is not an easy thing. So today's topic is resting in the Lord, and we're going to go over a few scriptures. Resting in the Lord. Where it talks about resting in the Lord. The first yes. one is in Matthew eleven twenty eight um, through 30. My mom's going to open it Matthew. up. Matthew. Here, she's got her little Bible right here. Matthew. Let 
You want me to read it? Yes. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yes, Jesus' burden is light, and he wants mm -hmm. us to come, all of us that are weary, right, Mom? Right. Burden, stressed, uh, yeah. we're at the edge. He wants us to come to him and rest in him. Yes. And it's like you're teaming up with Jesus and he's giving you his strength. Mm -hmm. you're going to get is in Jesus alone and so meditating mm. on these scriptures helps you to to get yes. that word in your soul and meditate on his word and just feel that peace and rest that comes over yes. you right mom yes now the next scripture is first Peter 5 mm. 7 let's see if we can find it my mom has first her Peter first Peter 5 7 let me see if I have it is that Peter That's John, John. Uh, Philippians. Philippians. Here we go. Here, here it is. First Good Peter. Morning. First Peter, Peter 5. 5, 7. She's got her little pink Bible here. Five, right here, right there. 7, yes. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Yes, so Jesus wants us to care, cast our cares and our anxiety on Him, because He cares for us. He and any little thing; it doesn't it doesn't have to be some big anxiety or stress, right? It could be anything. With Jesus, you know, He paid the price on the cross for all of us for for all this pain and suffering, and so we cast our cares on Him, right, Mom? We do. Yeah, Mom's over here rubbing little Oreo. She's in the bed with us, so we do. The next scripture. Which I love this scripture is in John fourteen twenty seven. Where's John? I think it was back here, right? Is that John? No, that's John. Philippians. There's John. John. Right here. I think. Fourteen twenty seven. Yes, I see. I see. Do you want me to read it? Yes. Peace I leave with you, my peace. I give you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Yes, yeah, so Jesus is saying here that, yeah. that he's going to give us his peace. Not yes. as the world gives, not as the, what we try to find peace in the world through money, through status, through, through things. things. Uh, even through good things, we try to find peace. But through him, not yes. as the world gives, he gives you peace. And he doesn't want our hearts to be troubled or afraid. He wants us to be resting in him and yes. you know, his peace so that we're not troubled or afraid. Right, Mom? It's, right. it's easier said than done. We all go through it. And even when we do go through those times where we have anxiety and stress, just give it to God and know that he hears you. He hears your heart cries. And that he will come through, even if yes. it doesn't happen right away. And just keep meditating on his word and his rest. And just these scriptures, you just say them over and over and over. And you know, say, God, it says in your word, you know. And so that way. Because I go through very bad struggles because I just feel bad being like this. And so it takes all the strength. To just keep my faith 
in him and ask him to help me to be better, do a, a good job for Dad and Amy and the rest of our family and for our friends and just to be do the best that I can to yeah. give it for him to give me the strength. Yeah, and it's hard for her sometimes, and I always have to encourage her. Sometimes you get discouraged, right? Right. And, you know, you know, it's hard when people get older, and you know they they can't walk, or you know they don't feel the same, and so it's a constant reminder. And I have to remind her, and we do the Bible studies, and that really helps her because there's days where I come here where she's really depressed and discouraged, but by the end of the day, you feel a little bit better, right, Mom? Yeah. Okay. So, and we have one more scripture. Philippians 4, 6 and 7, which Philippians? is... Philippians? Yeah, and I think that's... Oh, I think that is right here, yeah. Uh, yeah. Philippians 4, 4. Where is it? Here's Philippians 4. 6 and 7. Uh, oh, here it is, down here, right? That... Uh, oh, right here it starts. Do not... Do yeah, not 6. Yeah, do not be anxious, I think. Yeah, this is, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Yes, yeah, so here's another scripture where Jesus is telling us to cast your anxieties. Do not be anxious. You know, that he, that he present whatever your need is, and his peace and rest that transcends all understanding will help you and overtake you and, and, and give you rest and peace for your soul. So those are just a few scriptures on rest. And we wanted to share is our first Bible study. So we wanted to give you encouragement to rest in the Lord. Get out of the phones. Get yeah. off the computer and do some fun things. Do some arts and crafts. Go outside and be oh. in nature and spend time with people. Not through the computer, but like face to face. Without the phones. Don't look at the phones. And yes. just have fun, you know. Live life and have fun. Yes. Even mom who's bedridden and can't go out much, you know, we try to make things fun. You know, we do these videos so that we can inspire other people, especially her, yes. to show that even if you're in our bedroom, you can still inspire people. Right, mom? And I want to do something for others. You know, since I have to be in this bed, I feel I want to be able to give something to the world. Yeah, and she really does because... When she goes out and all the videos I put up for Christmas, so many of you loved her. You said she was adorable. And that's how it was when you used to go out. People would stop and say, she needs to have her own TV show. She I is the cutest. People. And I also think it's important not only to have love, but laughter helps. Yes, we do that a Your lot. soul and your body. Yeah, it does. It is the best medicine. It says that in the Bible, right? Yeah. Right. Mom's going to do a special prayer to close our Bible study today um, for all of you, just to kind of give you a word of encouragement and just to uplift you in prayer. Okay, ready, Mom? Dearest Lord Jesus, we all cast all of our cares upon you. You are our divine healer and our help in times of trouble and in good times too. Be with everybody 
that has listened to us today and help Amy and I and my husband, Hal, whom I love very much, and Amy loves two feet, and to be strong and to do our will for you. Be with us all. Help all of us. We cast our cares upon you, and we love you very much. In Jesus' In name, holy name, amen. amen. Yes, yes, and you just cast your cares, your fears, your anxieties, anything that is bothering you, burdening yes. you on Jesus, and he will, he will come through, right, Mom? And he'll yes. give you rest. So until next time, mm. we love you, and we this is our you. inspirational word and fun with cute yes. Judy, me, and Amy in our cute daisy dresses. We yes. love you guys. We love Bye. you very much. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Love you guys. Jesus loves you, and we love you. That's my, there we care very much. Yes. Love you guys. Love you guys very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.